Welcome to HeyGen Podcast. Today, we're diving into the world of Google Directory and Google Workspace. Let's get started. Awesome. I've been hearing so much about that lately. So what exactly is Google Directory? Well, it's um, basically the centralized hub for managing user information, groups, shared contacts, and organizational units within an organization. It's right. crucial for identity management and collaboration. So it's like an all-in-one address book for the company? Exactly. But it's more than just an address book. Yeah. It helps admins add, update, or remove users, and manage authentication and access control. That's pretty important. And how do groups fit into this? You can organize users into groups for easier communication and access management. Mm. It's great for setting permissions on Google Drive, Calendar, and other apps. So mass emailing and setting permissions become a breeze? Exactly. And then there are organizational units. It's like structuring users into different departments or teams. Right. You can apply different policies and security settings to each unit. Wait, you can customize policies per department? That's powerful. Yes, it gives administrators a lot of flexibility. Got it. They can tailor settings based on specific needs. That sounds really useful. What about shared contacts? Oh, shared contacts allow you to maintain a directory of external vendors, partners, and clients. Oh, so nice. So employees can easily access important external contacts. That definitely streamlines communication. How well does it integrate with other Google services? It integrates seamlessly. Users can quickly find colleagues via Gmail, Google Chat, and Calendar. It auto-populates yeah. suggestions in various Google apps. So collaboration is enhanced across the board? Exactly. And from the admin side, you have control over who can view the directory. Right. Plus, it supports single sign-on and multi-factor authentication. Wait, are you sure about multi-factor authentication? Um, yes, it definitely supports MFA. Hmm. Why? Have you heard differently? I just thought some organizations had trouble implementing it through Google Directory. There might be some challenges, but overall... It's designed to support MFA. Okay. It's integrated with the Google Admin Console for easy management. Gotcha. Where do users access the Google directory? Through the Google Admin Console at admin.google.com and via Google Contacts at contacts.google.com. Right. It's also integrated into Gmail and Calendar. So it's accessible from pretty much anywhere within Google Workspace? Exactly. Who gets to use Google directory? Is it just for admins? No. Not at all. Admins manage accounts and policies, but employees can look up colleagues and groups for collaboration. Mm -hmm. Developers can even use the Google Directory API for automation. That's quite versatile. What are some common use cases? Well, users can search for colleagues without manually saving contacts. Yeah. You can manage access to apps and files by setting permissions based on roles or groups. And you can automate user provisioning? Exactly. By syncing with HR systems for onboarding and offboarding. Right. Plus, setting security policies to restrict access based on organizational needs. That seems essential for larger organizations. Absolutely. It simplifies many complex tasks. Yeah. But for small businesses, is it overkill? Well, even small businesses can yeah. benefit. It's scalable to their size and can help keep things organized from the start. I suppose setting it up early is better in the long run. Definitely. It can save headaches down the line. Exactly. Overall, Google Directory seems like a powerful tool within Google Workspace. It really is. Yeah. It enhances collaboration and keeps everything organized. Thanks for explaining all that. I feel like I have a much better understanding now. Happy to help.